Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am here with the Hunter Call of the Wild Beta version. I was actually chosen, guys. I was actually selected to test the beta version, and I'm here with the likes of Who Cares and Ron McTube and Proxy and a number of other legendary characters that have been using or uh, playing the hunter for a very long time i mean we're talking this is awesome guys <laughs> anyway um i briefly came into the game and tried a few things and we're supposed to basically get go through here and try to you know check for problems check for bugs check for errors and well to be perfectly honest i've everything runs okay i haven't had any problems with it freezing i haven't had any problems with it crashing but my frame rate is pretty poor i mean let me go ahead and show you what i've had to do here guys if you go into the graphics you'll notice that i have almost everything set to medium and low and i have i have the recommended settings I mean, granted, I'm at the lowest level of the recommended. I have a 760 G GeForce GTX, but 760M. But in the classic Hunter, man, I rock and roll. And this, I'm getting frame rates of between about, hmm, sometimes as low as 14 and only about as high as 20 or 21. That's it. When I'm in the Classic Hunter, I get rate rates of 45 to 60. So, I don't know if that's something with the beta, or if it's just this thing is that demanding. I'm not sure. But, I can still play it. And what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and start a new game. And see if we can't do the tutorial, at least. Now, let me get back to the main screen here. And no, I don't want to continue just yet. Well, maybe I do. <laughs> Is there a way to start a new game here? Let's see. Uh, it's not looking like it. Alright guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to check to see if I can set this back to the very beginning. Because I want you to see this from the beginning if possible. I'll be back. Alright guys, yes you can set a new game, but you have to basically start everything completely over. Oh, maybe not. No, no, this is it. This is it. Yep. This is where I started. Okay, good, good. Alright. Now... This is Instructional Mission 1. No, I didn't start over with a new game. I don't think. No, let's see. Okay, that's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm only getting like Right now I'm getting 16 frames per second. That's pretty poor. But I did start back over. I just don't have find a track on here. So that's a little bit of a glitch there. Alright, let me go ahead and show you some of the capabilities here, guys. This is the... Okay, there's located track. So it is working. It says that I've done it. So I've sort of started over. Not quite. But anyway, let's see here. We've got got our mission log, which is the instructional mission one, which is locate a track, which we've done obviously. Shoot an animal and harvest an animal. Then we've got our inventory, and we've only got three items. We've got our gun, which happens to be the Ranger .243, kind of similar to what's in the classic version. And we've well, we actually have a scope on it, which is good. Uh, what the heck happened to my binoculars? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. you got to be kidding me.
I lost my binoculars. Okay, this is this is ridiculous. I actually lost my binoculars. All right, guys, I'm gonna be back here. I don't know what the heck happened, but if you start a new game at this point after having played through the tutorial just a little bit, you'll lose your binoculars. Yeah, that's interesting to note. <laughs> All right, well, we've located a track already. I will say the scenes here are quite beautiful. But the tracking is very, very different, guys. Very, very different. Now, there's a lot of things you don't have anymore. I mean, we're talking... I've been very pampered. I mean, I've lost my descent capabilities. Now you have to build skills, which you kind of did in the original to some degree, but now to get certain skills you have to unlock others like right now we're locating tracks which if you go through different levels it increases the distance so tracks are visible the directional tracking is now even narrower I mean things like that and there's apparently perks that you can purchase as you get skill points or experience points which is nice I'm hoping that and this is my my little guy here I have one point <laughs> no I don't even have that that's I guess my score or whatever uh, yeah it's it's painful starting over <laughs> I've been playing the classic version so long that this is going to be a little little bit humbling but we're going to need to find a track of some kind here, guys. I don't think it really matters what we find as long as it's a track of some kind of animal. But the tracking is done considerably different. See, if you notice those white areas up here, see how they kind of bubble almost? Yeah, those are tracks in feeding areas. Now if you see the part area where the grass is, that means the animals are feeding there. There should be a track nearby. Yes, there should be a track nearby. Well, there's one right here. And I apologize for my dog making noise there, but let's go ahead and check out this track. It is the track of a roe deer that was trotting. And when you hit E, you get the little thing like you got in a well, it's sort of similar to the thing you got in the original but not quite but one thing I want to do here real quick I want to come down here and take a look at this little tower here first maybe this This one's actually gonna. This track's actually gonna get me going this way, so that's not too bad. But I want to come over here and take a look at this tower because since I've already found some tracks, I really want to find my animal. Maybe if I get in this tower, I'll be able to shoot it and get through this tutorial real quick. I'm hoping that if I can at least complete the tutorial, I'll get some skill points so that I can. Oh. Uh, I heard of an animal, but I can't get my, hmm, yeah, you used to make your hunters make go off and then you could find out what it was. I know what it is. It sounds like a, either a coyote or a fox. Yeah. Well, let's go this way. Now, the movements are a little bit different too, guys. I mean, crouch is the same. It's just control like it used to be. But to stand up, you hit it again. That's different. Uh, to get prone, you have to hit the Z button. 
and that gets you prone. And another thing is, you have to worry about the brush you're walking in. That was something that you didn't do with Classic. You have to be careful how much noise you make. So that's a problem. But to stand back up, you press the control button again. But you can do something you couldn't do before. And that is, let me show you if I can get standing up here. I think it's, is it alt? I thought you could jump. Yep, there it is. You can jump. That's one thing you could never do in the original. It's a space bar, guys. You can jump. Yay! <laughs> Alright. And if you want to run, just press the shift key. My caps lock will set it, toggle it back to walk. And if you hold it, that'll get you going faster. What is that? Oh, it's a picnic area. That's nice. <laughs> Alright. Dang it, I keep clicking my button every time I hear the sound of an animal like that. It, should, it doesn't do what it used to. It's confusing. Yeah, I know I'm making a lot of noise here, but I'm trying to get up here a little bit quicker. I'll tell you what, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll crouch and we'll walk up here and crouch the rest of the way so we don't scare too many of the critters away. Not that we probably don't stink to high heaven. But, yep, that's definitely a place of interest. So what we'll do is we'll go up there and get in that tower and take a look around. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pause here. And if anything happens, I'll bring you back. Alright guys, I hear something. There! Use your binoculars to get a closer look. I don't have any. What is that? Think Be sure us. to aim for its vital organs. Heart and lung shots mean quicker kills, less painful. All right. I did actually see some animals that time. And apparently there's a herd of them. Well, that didn't work out. Why is this thing so... Ugh, my god, it's all over the place. Pretty much scared everything off. Oh <laughs> uh, well, let's get up in the tower. Yeah, I'm gonna have to sit and play around with this gun a little bit. doesn't move nearly as bad if you're crouched but it still moves pretty bad I mean I'm literally not moving at all and it's wavering that much now I believe
Okay, that's how you do it. You hold the shift key, which makes you run normally. <laughs> to hold your breath. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> oh well. Live and learn. Let me go ahead and stand up. I mean, we've pretty much scared everything off. Let's just go up the tower. I see, you can see those little waves coming out. Like it, there's some kind of animal making a noise, but you can't investigate it. Oh, vocalization, warning call. It does work. Awesome. So you have to point it at it. I thought you get like a little E symbol or something. There it is. I do. I thought that was a bird. Foul deer, huh? Hmm, that's new. Alright, let's go up here. I think this is the top of the tower here. Yep, it is. Oh! Some kind of a... Look up. Wow, you're a fast learner. Gain XP to level up your character and to unlock player skills and weapon perks. XP can be acquired by harvesting animals, completing missions, and you didn't give me a chance to read that. <laughs> so this is in German. Whoa. What happened? I still I got a hundred XP for that. Nice. Really nice. Now, does that mean I can apply that to something? Like a skill or anything? <laughs> I guess not yet, huh? You cannot afford this skill. Hmm. Darn. Oh well. Can I get a perk? Can't afford this perk. Get more perks points by uh bother. I guess it couldn't be that easy, could it? Alright. Well, shoot. So basically, if you look out here, that gives you a view of all this area that's highlighted. And that little dot is the you are here thingamabob. Can't go that way. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, that is really pretty. So anytime you see that little symbol, you kind of want to check these things out. I guess it kind of gives you XP, kind of like... for, you know, checking it out or whatever. Okay. That's cool. nothing to shoot at because like it you know I think it's gonna have to be tradition guys when I played my very first episode of the hunter if you go back to season one I accidentally I had an accidental this accidental discharge <laughs> that's exactly what happened here I hit the touchpad on my laptop 
And that's why the gun went off. I did not shoot the gun with my mouse. So apparently that's what I do at the beginning of all these. <laughs> I have accidental discharges. That could be really taken the wrong way, couldn't it? Alright guys. I don't think I can get over here. Well, maybe I can. Awesome! <laughs> I like that. I can now jump. That is so cool. That was something that we really, really wanted in the classic version of this. The ability to jump. Well, it looks like there's something up ahead here, a track or something, so I'm going to go ahead and check this out. See what that's about. Yeah, you see how when you're going for the brush, you make all kinds of noise? Okay, see, they hear me. Warning call. So I need to stop being so freaking loud. Well, guys, I kind of think that might be plenty of time for this particular episode. I know we didn't really actually get to do a whole lot this time, but we are just kind of taking a look around at this thing. Anyway, guys, please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of The Hunter Called the Wild Beta Version. And we'll continue taking a look at this. I think I'll go ahead and end this here. Now, I'm going to continue on and start a new episode, but this has been long enough. Anyway, guys, I will see you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.